right, I'd like to talk about uh, polishing your headlights. So I had originally used a coating on this and um, I used this 2X clear coat. And after about five years, it's fogged up. It's about the same over here. This one's foggy, you can tell some of it's looks like maybe distorting. But anyways, um, so I've redone this one and it's taken a long time more than I would ever thought. The biggest thing is, it's just not very pliable. I think it'd be the right word, but you, you see when you start buffing it, it starts, I don't know, it just distorts. And uh, virtually I have to go down. I mean, at one point it went just solid white and I couldn't do anything unless they went with a 320, which I was a little bit scared. I thought I was gonna have to replace the lens. So basically what I'm saying is, if you use this stuff, I don't know, I don't think it's, it's a very good paint. Um, I bought a Meguiar's paint and we'll try that one out, the clear coat paint. But, um, and if you look over here, uh, it's still a little bit white, but I'm, I'm good with it. I'm just not going to screw with it anymore. I'm happy with that. Once I, uh, fix this one little area out, I'm going to have to do a 320 and then 600 and 800. I'll probably go a thousand, 12, 12 or 15, probably 1500 and then a three and then rubbing compounds which I've had these forever. Um, you got this one, 3M, the yellow top, and uh, the polish is that one. And uh, we'll see what happens. I'll come back. Okay, this is after the 320, and now I'm gonna go to okay, after the 800. And again, the pliability of this damn paint is just horrible. Probably have to do it again, and we'll see what I get with an 800 now. 800? 1200 it's pissing me off now look it's starting to do that so now i'm going to fix that i just want to be done with this uh, but anyway i'll do it all the way through and then i'll have to go back and do that one again it's just a horrible paint i never knew it till now it's just cheap and i've always tried to stay away from rust-oleum stuff but i'm paying for all it right, now. 15 and it looks like that one spot may be able to come out so I'm happy with that part, so I don't have to go backwards. Um, it's, I'm just gonna go to 3,000 now. All right, 3,000, grit. We still got a little bit there, and a little mark up there. Probably gonna go back to 15, and just hit that and see what happens, and then go back to three. Hopefully that'll wrap it up. All right, I went 15, and then uh, 3,000 again. Now I'll do the buffing compounds. I'm happy, this is uh, pretty close. All right, I put on the yellow compound. That's made by I think 3M. And what I normally do is I put some on here and it's always too much. And I kind of spread it around because, uh, and I also have an apron on. I put a welding apron on because I normally just spray this stuff everywhere. So I'm trying to actually be smart, crazy thoughts here. But uh, I always seem to get mess all over me. But um, here we go. All right, with the uh, purple polishing or compound, um, um, yeah, I think it's polish. Um, and uh, it turned out pretty good. Still a little bit of scrap scratch there, and um, because of the uh, pliability of that crappy paint. So now um, I'm some of the edges are a little bit rough there. I, I'm just I'm pretty much done. I, I think it's good enough. I mean, this is a 20 plus year old car, and I'm just trying to improve it. My light bulb went out. And I figured kill two birds with one stone. Um, so yeah, I'm pacing myself. I'll do this one another day. It's too nice out, and uh, I got to work on my 928. As far as um, I'm still having uh, troubles after the intake spacers, and so I got to re-glue the other side and uh, or seal it, and then I think we'll be good. Stories to come on that. Okay, the kit I have is this, and it's pretty cool, and it looks like it comes with. Uh, this uh, this is a cleaning um, applicator with this compound cleaning solution. Pretty sure it's this uh, Scotch Bright style. It's gray, and that is uh, used to uh, um, prep for paint. So that's definitely what that is, and it's cleaning as well. Looks. I'll show you the results after wiping it off. All right. So wiped it off. Made it a little bit foggy. That's okay. Uh, probably gonna clean it up a little bit better again 
but that's to be expected because uh, the clear coat's going to make it pop. Just thought about it. It's probably also this is the uh, solution that they put in this compounder cleaner before you clear coat anything. And um, bought this a while ago to do. Uh, I'm going to do my back bumper on my 928 and to fix some of the uh, uh, problems back here with the uh, clear coat and then clear it again. But uh, and with that the Scotch Bright gray pads. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, the direction says to wipe it down with the damp towel. I'm using IPA. And you kind of see what it's going to look like for a second until the IPA cleans up. So, or excuse me, dries up. Um, like I said, I'm not too happy about that corner, but I just can't do it anymore with this. Uh, it's just the pliability of this stuff is not good. So don't use it. You've been warned. All right, it's pretty windy out, but I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, God willing, there'd be no bugs flying in it. And I'm supposed to wait three to five minutes and then put one more coat on. It's, uh, I was saying to talk about 50% overlapping, very hard to tell with this uh, wind, but I can definitely tell I hit it well. Well, I may have screwed up. I may have held it too close, so it's starting to drip. Hoping that it come out, but my luck it won't. I may have just pushed a little bit too much. I was trying to get a little bit more on. It specifically said meeting cope, and I uh, went heavy. So, yeah, note to self: don't go so much. But anything's fixable. Hopefully, to dry out. Got her on. Put the new light bulb in. All is well. Um, still kind of bummed about the. Um, running like i said i don't know if you can see it just right there and there and there i'll definitely let it cure for a couple weeks and then who knows i'll probably see if i can lightly hit it with 800 six or 800 and see what happens and then see if i complain about the pliability of this one but uh, i think part of my problem was that i had it angled up and the first paint um is when it, it adhered to it and it said wait three three minutes i waited five and then i think at that point it was slick as uh al blank and uh when i applied uh, a little bit heavier than previously um it just obviously ran down like a race and better than this but i, I got some work to do it's okay it's uh always a learning so that's it all right this is the passenger side i went with a 1500 2000 3000 5000 and then the compound and then the polish and then a wax and it looks like it's good there's a mark there where the pliability happened again but i'm going to see what happens if it starts fogging again which i'm assuming it's going to because i'm assuming the clear is pretty much gone but maybe not we'll see um then i'll probably use the cleaner and the scratch pad, the gray one, and then paint it again. Time will tell. Please subscribe. Bye.